Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to replace the hybrid inverter system coolant on this 2023 Toyota Sienna. While um, I guess it's physically possible to crawl under there and, uh, you know, do this job without lifting the vehicle up, potentially, I am going to lift it up just to make things easier and uh, easier to show you what I'm doing. So here is the one lift point. So anywhere along this pinch weld you can lift it up and then make sure you use a jack stand don't only you rely on a jack to keep you safe because those things can sometimes fall out or collapse and, and then in the rear we have the same setup so that's where you're gonna lift it up by You should replace the hybrid system coolant at the first 150,000 miles and then every 50,000 miles thereafter. Make sure to do this job with a cold engine, otherwise you might get burnt by a hot steam escaping from the cooling system once you open it. Remove the inverter coolant tank uh, cap. I'm going to remove this whole front engine cover. You don't have to take the whole thing off, you could undo some of it and reach inside there but I'm gonna take the whole thing off just so you can see uh, what's inside it'll be easier to show you all the details. I'll start by removing these uh, front wheel opening extensions there are four screws holding each one of them on there are 10 millimeter heads and then do the same with the one on the other side now we have these uh, three 10 millimeter head bolts. A couple of clips. And then uh, eight screws around the front. The inverter coolant drain plug is located right here near the center of the vehicle, a bit on the right side. Install a uh, 5 16 of an inch inside diameter hose or 8 millimeters. Place a suitable drain container underneath. And uh, you can check the links below the video for all the tools and supplies you might need to do this job. And now open the drain plug and uh, you don't need to pull it out completely, just Open it far enough till the coolant starts draining and uh, let all the coolant drain out. When uh, coolant flow slows down to a uh, drip or stops completely, you can uh, close the plug and then uh, remove the hose. Now we can reinstall this uh, splash shield or lower engine cover, insert it under the bumper and then uh, you can start by installing the two clips to hold it in place and afterwards you can do all the bolts and the screws. Make sure that uh, all these front portions are inserted inside the bumper and not sticking out. Now you can uh, reinstall these three bolts. Uh, tighten them to 66 inch pounds. Get the eight screws in from the front, and uh, there's no torque spec on them from the manufacturer, but they go into plastic grommets, so just don't over tighten them, don't be beating on them with an impact gun or something, just uh, snug them up by hand. And lastly, install these uh, wheel, wheel opening extension covers, uh, one on each side with four screws and tie the nose by hand as well. Now we can install the funnel and uh, fill the inverter system with coolant. Now, I always use the uh, original Toyota Super Long Life Premix. Mine's mixed to 55-45 because in Canada it's a little bit of a stronger mix. 
most of the rest of the world is 50 50 either is fine and then uh, when you're filling just uh, it's important to do it really slowly so you don't want to just dump a bunch of coolant in there and create an airlock just uh, fill it with a nice little trickle and uh, as you're filling it keep an eye on the coolant level so your low mark is right here full is right here you can fill it to full or a little bit higher because once you uh, get the pump running it's gonna suck up some of the coolant down but uh, fill it to full maybe is best that way you definitely don't overfill it so let's keep going until it's at uh, full mark now that it's at a full mark, so the manual tells you to activate the hybrid coolant pump with a scan tool. You know, you, you can do that if you want, but really you can just start the engine and as long as the engine is running or the vehicle is in ready mode, the engine doesn't even have to be running. Um, it's going to circulate the coolant. So let's do that. We'll uh, start it uh, or put it in ready mode and uh, we're going to wait for the bubbles to stop coming out the coolant level will slowly drop at first and we'll just top it up to full and then once the electric pump is nice and quiet there is no more air circulating through it and the level is not dropping anymore then we know that the air is bled out of the system Now we can just uh, keep topping it up. Okay, so once the coolant level stabilizes and it's not going down anymore, we can shut the engine off. And now uh, just stop it up a little bit right to the full mark. And we can take the funnel out, put the cap back on. And then uh, after a while, you can uh, let the engine cool down. I mean, right now the coolant's not really hot in there anyways, but you can let it sit for a few hours and just make sure that the level hasn't, go hasn't gone down anymore or uh, drive it a couple of times and then just double check the level and uh, that's it. Uh, hybrid inverter system coolant replacement is completed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more Toyota Sienna maintenance and repair videos. See you next time. Cheers.